going on guys d21 Delhi here back again with another mlb the show 21 video and in this video guys we're going to go over the new roster updates all the new diamonds that dropped today if you guys do end up enjoying this video bro make sure you guys are smashing that like button and if you guys are new to the channel bro welcome go subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified on my upcoming videos guys we are so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for all of that, bro. Let's get this video started with the roster update. Number one, we got Ronald Acuna. By the way, we're only going to go with diamonds and golds in this video because we don't really care about silvers and bronze or definitely not commons. So Ronald Acuna, number one, going from a 92 overall to a 94 overall. Very good, Ronald. Great job. Garrett Cole, plus one, 92 overall. Mookie Betts, minus one, now is a 91 overall. We got Aaron Judge as an 89 overall. Nothing really happened. Uh, Max Scherzer got plus one. Nolan Arenado, nothing really happened. It just took away some power versus right-handed pitching. Josh Hader, plus five in his his per nine, became an 88 overall. Good job, Josh. Shane Bieber got minus one. They dropped a little bit on his his per nine. It's all good. He's still a diamond. We got Byron Buxton, the new Player of the Month award um card as well as the new diamond from last roster update is now an 88 overall he's going up and up and up with that 370 average and those nine bombs absolute demon manny machado minus one 87 overall now rhodes chapman 87 overall went up plus two thank god because i, re I recently just bought him at the market so thank god that he got um, a little upgrade there. Now he's a little bit more expensive at the market. JT Real Munto, 87 overall, nothing really happened. Jose Ramirez, same thing, nothing really happened. Trevor Story, minus one, 86 overall now. Trey Turner, plus one, he became an 85 overall. Last roster update, now he's an 86 overall. So now we're seeing the new players like Byron Buxton and Trey Turner moving their way up there. Anthony Rendon, nothing really happened. Just took away some vision, took away some contact versus left-handed pitching. Yu Darvish, 86 overall. Clay Kershaw, minus one, 86 overall. Liam Hendricks, 85 overall. James Karachak, 85 overall. Got a plus two, brand new diamond. Congrats, James. Brandon Woodruff, brand new diamond as well. 85 overall, got a plus two. Plus five in his hits per nine, plus three in his case per nine. Corey Seager, nothing really happened here, but they did take away some vision and contact versus right-handed pitching. John Carlos Stanton, another diamond we got in this roster update with a plus two big upgrade for him for a guy who has 40 caves i don't know how he did it but he ended up doing it alex bregman minus one 85 overall now took away a lot in his discipline and a lot in his vision and a lot in his power versus right-handed pitching so i would not be surprised if he's a goal by next roster update but he is hitting 308 so i don't know Staden 40 k's 280 alex bregman 22 k's 308 doesn't make sense to me but it is what it is DJ, DJ LeMayu, 85 overall, minus one. I don't know what to say about that one. Aaron Nola, nothing really happened. 85 overall still. Alexander Bogarts, 85 overall, brand new diamond as well. Absolutely balling with that 340 average, eight bombs. Congrats, Alexander Bogarts. Walker Bueller, nothing really happened. Lance Lynn, nothing really happened. Buster Posey, 84 overall, now was an 82. Very high gold now. And he's going to be going up in that market, especially with a 383 average, eight bombs. He's having a hell of a year. Yuli Gurriel, plus two. Um, now he's a high gold as well. So Buster Posey, Yuli, be on the lookout for them because he's also hitting 333 with just 19 Ks and seven bombs. So keep an eye on him. Francisco Lidor, this one hurts me. This one hurts me big time, guys, because I'm a Mets fan. And he's not having a good year. It's kind of bothering me in a way, but... 84 overall, lost his diamond privilege. Francisco Lindor, you are grounded. Jeff McNeil going up one overall. He's now an 84 overall. Nelson Cruz, 83 overall. Jose Abreu, 83 overall. Both of them got downgraded. Javi Baez, plus one, 83 overall. Matt Chapman, 83 overall. Nothing really happened. Nicholas Castellanos, 83 overall, plus one. Congrats. Ramon Lariano, I think. 83 overall plus one josh donaldson nothing really happened but they did take away his power versus right and left-handed pitching which is absolutely insane but he got that plus nine vision though alzi albies nothing really happened jd martinez nothing really happened jake flaherty plus one lucas lucas gerolito minus one 82 overall matt barnes plus four 82 overall so now that's a new silver becoming a gold carlos correa went down one with a 246 average not really having a good year joey gallo minus one as well and they took away <laughs> they took away four on his vision so he has really really low vision i don't know what to say about that trevor may took away his his per nine took away his case per nine now it's an 82 gold though plus one for trevor may we got Giovanni Gallegos, I think that's how you say it. 
82 overall, got a plus one. Tim Anderson, minus one, 82 overall. Chris Bryant, 82 overall. Yosemite Grandel, 82 overall. Justin Turner, same thing. Gene Segura, plus one, actually. Um, but they did take away his power. So he's just basically a straight-up contact hitter, which we already know. Raphael, Devers, nothing really happened. Michael Brantley, minus one. Jesus Aguilar, got a plus two. He is a new gold as well. Very much deserved. Kenta Maeda, minus one. Shohei Otani, okay, only got a plus one. A lot of people were thinking he was probably going to get a plus three, maybe even a plus two. Only got a plus one, so I don't know about all that. Craig Krimbrough, nothing really happened. Tyler Glasnow, plus two. Joe Mosgrove, plus one. Anthony Rizzo, minus one. So now he's an 81 overall. Tommy Edmond, plus two. Jared Wash, plus two. Jordan Alvarez, plus one. Bo Bichette, nothing really happened. Chasco Hernandez, nothing happened. Vlad got a plus one. Paul, Paul Goldschmidt. Minus one. He's about to lose his gold privilege as well. David Fletcher, minus two. Carlos Santana is a new gold, as well as Lance McCullers Jr., new gold as well. And Andrew T. Simmons, minus two. 80 overall now. Charlie Morton, 80 overall now, minus two. Marcus Simeon, brand new gold. Will Myers, nothing happened. Zach Wheeler, new gold. Kelly Jansen, minus one. 80 overall, about to lose his gold privilege as well. Julio Urias, plus one. 80 overall. Blake Snell, minus two. And he was yapping about him not being a higher gold. And he has a 4.19 ERA. Don't be yapping. Harrison Bader, plus two. 80 overall. Freddie Peralta, 80 overall. Colton Wong, 80 overall. Kevin Galsman, 80 overall. All of these guys, plus two plus one plus one brand new goals into the game as well but that's going to be it for all the golds um and silvers i believe so a lot of upgrades <laughs> i was going through that list pretty quick but a lot of upgrades guys a lot of upgrades now let's talk about some brand new diamonds that they added into the game so obviously you guys get this free um player program reward fred mcgriff second inning program Look at his stats, bro. Not that bad. 78 contact versus right. 76 contact versus left. 90 power versus right. 86 power versus left. 73 vision. Only plays first base. There's a lot more better first basemen in this game. I can just tell you one right now. Pete Alonzo. Better first baseman than Fred McGriff. But this guy does have a diamond. If you want it to look cool on your team, go for it. He has the 65 fielding, 48 speed. I don't know if I want to play you know play with this card or anything like that but he is a free diamond at the end of the day just do some missions do some moments and you get yourself a free diamond now let's go over on the market where we have some brand new diamonds as well so right here straight off the bat we got aj burnett brand new diamond 93 overall 84 hits per nine 96 case per nine 79 walks per nine 93 velocity with 97 break has a fastball knuckle curve sinker change up slider um, would I be using this card? Probably not. Um, I probably won't even debut him, honestly, because of that 84 hits per nine. And I just don't think... He doesn't even have Outlier, I believe. Doesn't even have it. The only real effective pitch that he really has is the sinker, and he doesn't even throw it that hard. But I don't know, man. If he's cheesy, I might slide him into the rotation. But as of right now, probably not. Next, on the list, guys, we got Nick Markakis. We got Nick Markakis going for a very high price right now, 105000 but 101 contact versus right-handed pitching, 85 contact versus left-handed pitching, 68 power versus right-handed pitching, 45 power versus left-handed pitching with 102 vision, 91 fielding, 92 arm, 64 speed, can play first base as well as every position in the outfield. Pretty decent card, bro. No power whatsoever, but a pretty decent card, especially with the fielding. He has gold, I mean, he has diamond on everything, so good for Nick Markakis that he's got, he got himself a pretty good card. But would I use them? Probably not. Next, guys, we got Ashubo Cabrera, which I can find him right here. Perfect. 82 contact versus right. 95 contact versus left. 82 power versus right. 67 power versus left-handed pitching. And 81 vision with 75 fielding, 63 speed. Can play shortstop and can play second base. Is there better second baseman to the game? Yes. I believe you can put Justin Turner over there a second. That's at least what I'm doing. Um, I think Ryan McMahon is a little bit better than him. But the only good thing about Ashubo Cabrera is that... He is a little cheesy. He could be a little cheesy, and he's also a switch hitter. Other than that, Ernie Banks, put him at short. Second base, put anyone else. But there are way better second basements, way better shortstops in this game than Ashoka Cabrera. So, is he a good addition? Sure. 
is he gonna do anything on this world probably not next we got john means not going for much only has a fastball changeup curveball slider nothing really out of this world 99 break i guess is very impressive with 92 hits per nine but nothing out of this world we're not really gonna go over that one that much wade miley same thing cutter changeup fastball curveball two seamer Nothing out of this world, bro. With that 95 hits per nine, maybe it's a little bit affected because of that cutter. But he doesn't really have anything out of this world that's going to throw you out um, off guard or anything like that. So he has a 93 break, 95 hits per nine. That's basically it. 89 overall, though. If you guys are missing a left-handed pitcher, go for it. I recommend you guys try your best to go get it. Now we got Adalis Garcia, I think, or Adalis. I don't know how you pronounce it. But he plays the outfield. 84 contact versus right. 87 contact versus left. 88 power versus right. 95 power versus left. 58 vision. So he has pretty good power overall. Pretty good contact overall, but low vision. 74 fielding. 81 speed. I think there's better outfits, especially over there at center field. So that's basically going to be it for all the diamonds and stuff like that. But they did give you a camo equipment pack um you could redeem it in two days well basically three days and it's nothing really out of this world it's just camel bag camel socks camel batting gloves camel lizard skin and a camel padres jersey so i think that was pretty cool but that's basically it for the video guys if you guys did end up enjoying it like i said make sure you guys are smashing that like button and don't forget to go subscribe before you leave the video but anyways guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace